career in the Canadian Forces is both demanding and rewarding. For those who choose to serve, regardless of age, gender or background, the journey begins here. We'll follow four candidates from the recruiting office through the challenges of basic training and beyond. We'll share their experiences. We'll share their goals and aspirations. We'll share their triumphs and we'll share their defeats. I am Petty Officer Kevin Robinson, and this is Basic Up Reloaded. Let's meet our four candidates. My name is Robert James. I'm 29 years old and I'm from St. John's, Newfoundland. It's something I've thought about for a long time. My uh, grandfather served in World War II as a Canadian paratrooper and uh, my other grandfather was uh, in the Flying Fortress for the British. It's something that I've always had an inclination to do. Uh, you know, respect my country, I love my country and I want to serve my country. And uh, having a family, uh, nowadays uh, the military is a good career choice. It's something that I plan on uh, staying with for a long time, probably in, until I retire. My name is Wayne White, and I'm from Twilinggate, Newfoundland, and I, my age is 49. Well, I've always had a love of the sea. Uh, I grew up by the sea, and uh, I've always loved ships all through. And, uh, and I said, what a great opportunity now. I know it's a little late in life, people tell me that, but it was a great opportunity. It was encouragement from my son, who's in the Navy. And he told me I could join at the age of 50, so I said, well, I'll take advantage of this opportunity. <laughs> Nicholas Moore, new recruit made the Armed Forces, uh, currently from St. Albert, Alberta. I was just with my dad, and it's always been something that's been you know, a little predominant in my head for what I want to do with my life. I spent the last seven years in Army Cadets, so that just sort of boosted the interest in it. And yourself, sir, what do you think of your son joining the Canadian Forces? I think it's great. Uh, you know, my father was in the Forces, and uh, when I joined, uh, he laughed a little bit, but in uh, the end of the day, he supported it, and uh, with Nicholas, I seen him go through Cadets, and he's been talking about reserves, a regular force, and I think a regular force better fits him, and it's an opportunity for him to go and do his own thing. So my name is Derek Kahn, I'm 21 years old from Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, just looking for a challenging career and always been interested since I was a kid and just uh, ever since I've seen the tanks on TV just wanted just had to get You're out of tension! You do not move around! What? What don't you do to him, Maria, this morning? To the hospital! Alright, listen to me! I present myself! Look to the front! I'm Master Bombardier, you know. I'm a fucking francophone, right? If you don't understand me, raise your hand, and another answer there here will be translate everything. For now, you are at attention position. I know you don't know this position yet, but keep your heel together, 30 degrees between your toes, your head is beside your body, and you don't fucking move at attention position. You look to the front, the only thing you can move is your toes inside the shoe. So at my command, move to the left or to the right, right? You will turn to 90 degrees to the right or to your left. Any question? No, 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 no. no. I told you it's about that. I'm Master Bombardier. It's pretty easy to understand. I'm not Master Corporal. Master Bombardier. Yes, Master Bombardier. It's clear. Yes, Master Bombardier. I hope it was the last time you fucked up with my rank. Platoon, move to the left. Into left turn. All right, after that, my next word of command will be by the left, quick march. So you start to walk your left foot to the front first. After, I will tell you right will, so you will do a will. Right, and you will take this all the way. Look to your right. All right, you go that way. All right. Do you understand? Platoon, by the left, quick, march. Left, right, right wheel. 
off on this guy hey yo big guy why you fucking move huh you want to play with me what sorry, sorry. oh sorry oh. that's fucking weak guy say sorry all right we never even really say sorry see. platoon move to the left left turn all right listen this word of command I will told you four Single file from the right. So all the guy on the right file, raise your hand. Now. All right, good to go, put your hand down. What I'm gonna say, four single file from the right. Quick, Mark, it will be only the right line will start walking, all right? You first guy on the left line, you will do left incline, 45 degrees to your left, uh, to correction to your right, all right? When you're gonna see the last guy on the right file, you will follow him behind. Yes, sir, Roger, good to go. And you, you go on this door. We'll look to your, your right, all right? Platoon, four, single file from the right. Quick, march. Right wheel, first guy. Close your hand, snap your arm, parallel the ground, dig in heel, chin up, be proud. Go. Go, present yourself, ordinary seaman. Ordinary seaman, Gordon, 941, uh, Naval Weapons Tech 065, 56 out of 56, uh, PO. Relax. Steve. I'm Petty Officer Steen. I'm platoon commander. I have 25 years of experience uh, serving in the CF. I started off in the militia, RCR, decided to join the regular force uh, Navy, and I uh, wanted to be a cook. That didn't work out so well. They made me uh, an electronic warfare operator in charge of uh, essentially the super spook stuff you see on uh, the movies and that. I intercept uh, electronic transmissions. Today, I stand in front of you as a qualified weapons director, I'm responsible for uh, sensors and weapons for all above water matters on board uh, Canadian uh, warships. My two IC, Sergeant Lassard. Yo, Sergeant Lassard. Uh, I got 22 years in. Main of my career, I did it in the, with the service battalions. And I also did the support unit. I got four missions. And uh, I got four years in Germany. And I'm looking forward to, uh, to teach you what you need for your career. Sergeant Jaworski. Yep. I'm Sergeant Jaworski. I'm an AC op, air traffic control operator. I'm in the Air Force. I've got 20 years in the military, and I am also looking forward to teaching you the way the military runs its business. Uh, Who's missing today is uh, Pen Officer Russo. 
He's attending a first aid instructor's course. He will join us again on uh, Monday uh, as a four section uh, commander. Next is uh, Master Bombardier, you know. Pio, I'm Master Bombardier, you know. Right, I will be the uh, section commander of section one. I joined the army in 94. I was deployed overseas uh, a few times, Haiti, Bosnia, Afghanistan, and name it, all right? Just listen to us, follow what we uh, told you, and everything will be all right. Mass Corporal Vaders. Yo. <clears throat> I'm uh, Mass Corporal Vaders, come from, to our Sierra in Gagetown. Been in the military uh, 13 years. Uh, I've been in Afghanistan as well, as well as Haiti, all right? So I got a lot of stuff I could pass on to you guys, just like the rest of the staff. And as well, uh, just to reiterate what uh, Master Bombardier and just said, listen to what we say. We hate repeating ourselves. If you listen to what we say and do what we say, this course will be really easy for you guys. And final member of our staff is uh, Master Corporal Cantor. He'll join us uh, tomorrow. Okay? He'll be in charge of, uh, he'll be 2IC of uh, four section. That's our uh, staff of four platoon. We'll uh, let these guys go and uh, we'll carry on with the remainder of this class. Yo, Private Hart, uh, 595. I know it's way off topic and I really apologize, but I have to go to the bathroom. Private Baker. Here, Master Corporal. Private Wade. Here, Master Corporal. Private O. Yes, Master. Here, Master Corporal. Private Bowers. Here, Master Corporal. Private James. Here, Master Corporal. And Private Moore. Here, Master Corporal. All those I call out your name, follow me downstairs now. Any one of the mechanics? Also, pick up stamps. We'll get to your addresses and everything tonight. How to write, so your parents can write home, and how you can get information back home. Hands. If your mom wants to send you a care package, homemade cookies and everything, tell her not to, because you're not allowed to have it. Okay? have your pictures on it. Thank you, Nick. Everybody here has gone through that center over here. Good. Until uh, you, right, you will follow every people. You wait over here, right? You don't follow these guys, right? Go. Grab a basket, if you need a basket. You buy your stuff over here, okay? And that's not the shopping mall here, all right? So you do it fast, okay? Grab all your stuff, and you go to the cash machine. Cigarettes don't make it on camera. <laughs> That's 
like a turtling for you. And a lighter. With me at the other end with the red jersey. Ashley. Good stuff. Oh. Aubin. Baker. Keep going, guys. Let's go. Barnes. Bernardo. Bowers. Bowers. Bridge. Brooks. Brooks. Cameron. Cameron. Campbell. First, we can see if our platoon is fit or not, and we can work on the, the, the weakness of, uh, of each member of the platoon. So for example, at the end of every, uh, every courses, we, we work on the push-ups for some who failed this test today. So it's good because it's a good prog progression during the, the weeks that they are here. So that's why, for my, my own opinion, that's pretty good. We'll have to relax a little bit on the mat. Oh, OK. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we had a couple of students who had to be cleared by the medic because their heart, not their heart rate, their blood pressure was too high to start with. If you miss it two times in a row, you're out. Number 14 blue, out. If you're coming towards this line here and you're before the warning zone and we hear the beep, you're out automatically. When you get to the line, you're jogging this way, you just touch the line, you pivot, you wait for the next beep, and you go. We'll have a quick demo, make sure you pay attention to the staff. Sylvain? Five, four, three, two, one. So there's a delay before the first beep, make sure that you wait, touch the blue line, pivot, wait for the beep, and go. You see his pace is pre pretty slow, come to the line, touch, pivot, and go. C'est bon. had a normal uh, percentage of uh, failure, mostly in the push-ups and a couple on the shuttle run too. Also, the people who failed the 20 meter shuttle run today will get out of the platoon and go under RFT right away, so we won't see them uh, for a couple of weeks. They won't, they won't be in the platoon with the rest of, uh, of the students. Laura Campbell from Halifax, Nova Scotia. And I'm Jerry McGillivray, also from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Jonathan Landry from Cape Red, Nova Scotia. Tina Wade from Annapolis Valley, Nova Scotia. Bro. Yeah. <coughs> the geese. Yeah. Bernardo. Yeah. Bowers. Yeah. Horses up. Yeah. Yeah. Gordon. Yeah. <coughs> Breezy. Yeah. Okay. Section G. You have the results of each and every one of the tests. We check mark yes or no, as in did you pass yes or no. Real simple, then you move to section J. You have next evaluation at the bottom of section J. If it's an 06, 07, it means it's this year, in a couple of months, it means you did not pass. 
uh, Duncan 932. Uh, passed everything. Most sit ups I've ever done in my life. 32. <laughs> Name's uh, Cameron. I uh, passed everything. Same as him. Same, most put sit ups I ever did. Last name is McGilvery, and the express test wasn't too bad. I learned that I really suck at push-ups. I can't run that good, but I still made past what I had to do. But I can do a whole lot of sit-ups. <laughs> I think I beat my all-time best. I tried my hardest. Uh, my blood pressure was up, so I had to go back and see the medic. Uh, medic back there, and uh, we were uh, lying on the mats for a while and relaxing. And Blood pressure went down. So I gotta wait for a retest. And schedule that it's another time. Uh, I guess my blood pressure was too high, so it made me sit and wait in a room, and now I have to schedule another test for another day. So, oh, I passed. Just didn't like the shuttle run, but it was all right other than that. Didn't quite do as well as they expect of me, but hopefully that'll come with time. Mostly the running. Yeah, yeah it gets it takes a lot of endurance. <laughs> trouble there trying to pack my first bag there so uh, I guess my helmet got stuck three quarters of the way down so word of advice is to save the helmet for last and and I'll get right in your face this is not the time you have brakes that's the time. If you can feel the pain, it's good. You know why? Because you're still alive. Where's your name tag, Private? In my room, Sergeant. Why is it in your room? I forgot it, Sergeant. Why did you forget it? I wasn't about. thinking, Sergeant. Oh! You yeah. Yeah. Down! Up! Down! Up! Up! Down! Up! Up! Oh man, it was brutal. I was uh, throwing up all over the place and wheezing and they actually sent me to the, the MIR to get checked out. Make sure I'll still be alive, you know, so I can finish off a couple more weeks.